What's going on, everybody? John with Bull Throttle Trading. I know it's been a while. Um, been busy, so I'm trying to get a little bit more active on my YouTube videos. Um, so hopefully, I'll have more of these coming. Uh, today, I just want to make a quick video of uh, me taking a live trade so you guys can get a little bit better idea of uh, what it's like being in a trade and um, executing a, a good trade and being profitable. So, uh, if you guys are ready, get started. Alright, um, so here we've bottomed out and this is starting to come back up. So I'm going to go in with a thousand shares. Okay, and then I'm going to get a stop loss ready just to be safe. Uh, I'm going to eight six five, which that's going to be a lot. Let's see if I can eight point six. All right. So I might actually get stop lost out. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Okay. And apparently I only bought a hundred shares. Okay, so now I have a thousand. <laughs> Alrighty then. <clears throat> Alright, so now what we're doing basically is we're giving this a chance. Um, I probably went in a little heavier than I wanted to. <clears throat> so if my stop loss does go out, it's going to be a much bigger loss. But I'm looking at the MACD, I'm looking at the RSI, and our momentum starting to pick up. Yeah, see, I'm going to have to bring this up. Just because I went in a little heavy. I'll do right here and hope that it doesn't get set off. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm going to get a sell order ready because the volatility is starting to pick up. Okay, we're going to put this on a limit order. All right, here we go. 996. Can we log it in? Come out. Bam. All right, so as you can see, I just made $557. And this is probably going to continue to go up. Um, I don't like to be too greedy. Um, that was a fairly simple trade. I did go in a little heavy. It was a little early to go in that heavy. I probably should have stayed with 100 shares. Um, as you see, though, it was this is the importance of finding a good chart and waiting for the right time. Um, my stop loss, as you saw with 1,000 shares, uh, it would have made if my stop loss went through a little bit bigger than I was shooting for. So I probably should have went in with 100 um, and then kind of as it went up, averaged up and bought the other 900 shares as it started moving in my direction. So I did kind of rush out a little bit to learn from that mistake. Um, like I said, uh, I have a $500 a day goal, so I got over my goal. Um, now one of the things I could have done is I could have set a stop loss when I got here. And as you can see, I wouldn't have sold out and it's continuing to go up. 
Um, so I could have locked in a little bit more profit that way. However, the volatility on this particular stock was pretty, it's jumping back and forth a lot. So I don't really want to go in too, you know what I mean, too crazy with the stop loss. Because as you saw, it was fluctuating a lot and there's a good chance that my stop loss would have hit. Um, which is fine. I would have locked in what I had. But I tend to do that on stocks that aren't as volatile. So that way, once I get above that part where I've locked in my $500, um, it's not bouncing below that line. You know what I mean? It's keeping a nice steady upward momentum. So it won't trip my stop loss and I can allow it to go a little bit higher. Um, as we can see what this chart is doing, this is exactly why I locked in it as quickly as I could with this particular stock. As we see, our volatility is is high right now. So it already, you know, I sold it $9.99. I believe and it got up to 1050 and now it's dropping back the other way so this is the importance of of locking in you know nobody goes broke locking in their profits um, you could see how fast this goes now I wouldn't typically recommend going into a chart that's charting like this one because we can kind of see we hit this reversal point so all pre-market it was getting these higher highs and these higher lows uh, but once market opened that kind of started to to go down right so once we got these newer lows um, it's not exactly the best thing to jump in however if you're going to be in and out for a quick day trade like I was it works but you got to take into account the fact that you got these new lows so you're probably not going to get you know the same highs and you need to be able to get in and out before it starts to turn on you as you saw I got out right before this started to drop and that's why it's important knowing that um, you know there is money to be made even though it's not charting perfectly but you got to be quick and like I said I'm not a novice um, and I knew that going into this um, but not a lot of people do and then they end up you know sitting here and once it hits this point and it starts to drop well they keep holding it maybe they're averaging down or something like that but now they're holding a stock that is in a downward trend which is not a situation that you want to be in that's why it's important to set your stop loss like I said, watch your position size. I, I didn't exactly do that correct. You done, Hamble? Uh, watch your position size and, and make sure, you know, if your stop loss does go, that, you know, 1% of 100 shares versus 1% of 1,000 shares are two very different numbers. So pay attention to that. Um, all right, we can see now this chart, it looks like it, it might be possibly getting a new support, which is going to be these higher lows, right? So now it might start to pick back up and maybe later in the day, if it continues to show us that, that we'll want to take another position and possibly make some more money off of that. Um, other than that, like I said, I just kind of wanted to do a quick video so you guys could see me taking a live trade, um, help get you an idea of what to do in the moment, things to pay attention to. Like I said, watch your position size. You guys saw I was in the negative 200s there a couple of times, which you don't really want to be in that situation. So. Um, make sure you pay attention to that. All right, I'm going to stop it here, and uh, I'm going to wish you guys the best of luck, and uh, happy trading.